The Grind, brought to you by Regum Wright Waterfowl, Dakota Decoy, Lucky Duck, Heavy Shot, Delta Waterfowl, and Wild Deer. Additional sponsorship provided by these fine companies. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. We got set up just in time, I guess. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, I didn't waste a bullet. <laughs> no, I could have taken another shot, but we're a little limited. Yeah. <laughs> Two shells in, and I whiffed on the first one. I thought, uh-oh. We got all four of them. Yeah, we did. Man, they would not. We had to work that one. Oh, work nice work, Pat. They liked the, the comeback. Yeah, they did. You had to really bad. moan on it. Yeah. That was awesome, guys. Uh, guys are doing what we call nest dragging. So we stretch a chain between two ATVs and we drive through the nesting cover. And the chain causes enough 
sort of noise and, and disturbance in the vegetation that we flush females. And that's how we find nests and then we monitor the nests to look at nest success. Pretty much what we're trying to do is find effective ways to manage ducks on the prairies. On the prairies you got to worry about two things. We got to have wetlands and so we focus a lot of our energy on protecting wetlands, particularly small wetlands. So a large wetland like that isn't at risk of being drained, but those small wetlands are the ones that are most valuable. Protect wetlands and then improve nest success. Nest success is the driver of productivity on the prairies. What we're doing on the prairies is trying to figure out ways to manage so we reduce nest predation. Because most of the nests that fail, and most nests fail, fail because the eggs got eaten by a predator. Nice shot. Man, that was out there too. Yeah, I know. Good job. <laughs> what a that, good you shot, know, Billy. That was, judging by my shoulder, that was, I had one speedball number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> judging by the pain. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked because he's doing the backstroke. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> nice. See, the, the, it's like the groups are easier yeah. than the singles and the double. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of brown in there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I picked out my Drake and smoked it. I did too. <laughs> and I thought about a second one, and then I remembered the shell situation. The shell so the boat gets back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're down to half a box. <laughs> I haven't missed yet. <laughs> I, I, I whipped on that. Those four geese we just got. Yeah. I whiffed on my first shot. I thought, oh no, because I knew I only had two shells. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got, you made up for it. gentlemen. I'll just shoot him, Alex. You got a hand. Good night. <laughs> yes. Bill got a hand. Oh. <laughs> I think it's a black duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, is that why you didn't shoot him? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't figure out why you didn't shoot him. Good. Pat crushed the one drake, and then I just saw a hen. I saw a far drake, but then you smoked the hen. Good job. You know what? They taste just as good. And they allow wah, you to wah, shoot. Wah. They allow you to shoot too. Yeah. <laughs> well, Pat's, yeah, it just, they don't look as pretty in the mix. But you owe us a dollar each. <laughs> Coming in nice. Yeah, beautiful. You shoot him, Alex. You Get him, Alex. Dang. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> you keep putting my gun up on my arm. Give him that warning shot. Yeah, I gotta Give get him going chance. in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wilrock. I appreciate it. <laughs> 
the call out. <laughs> He's doing the back. I'm not going to argue if you call me out. <laughs> You're a little sloppier with the I, trigger now that you got extra I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I just got to load my gun like one, one shell. <laughs> we got so proficient when I first started hunting when I was 12, they bought us single shot Winchesters. You know, the mm -hmm. crank open. There's how it's true. <laughs> you cook crack, you slide that in, you get two <laughs> shots off. <laughs> <laughs>
She took nine days to lay those nine eggs, and then she's been incubating for 12 days, which means she'll hatch in about another two weeks, if she's lucky enough to hatch, that is. Nest tech's on a quarter section that's been trapped and had real high nest success. And so a lot of these nest techs we're going to find they're, the ducks are late in incubation and we might be very near hatch with pipping eggs or ducklings in the nest. In a more advanced stage of pipping than the earlier eggs we've seen. First they just starred, but you can see this duckling is cracked all the way around, like about a quarter of the way around. So these guys will probably be out late this, after, late this evening, and then they'll spend the night in the nest, and then tomorrow she'll leave the nest with the dried off ducklings. When they first come out, they're all wet, so, so this is what we call a, a medium or advanced stage of pipping. A little bit of work pays off right there, don't it? Gaddy, no Take it. Hey. Nice work. Little right, right on the right, single. Bunch of birds on the deck, y'all. Not bird. Yeah, the birds coming, y'all. Catch me. <laughs> Get them going in the right direction, and then hey, that's why they give you three. That's why they give you three. I know. The first one was a morning shot, right? <laughs> exactly. I get it when you get scared. Right at us! Right at us! Get him! Oh, you got him! <laughs> you got him! Oh. 
Oh, that would be called a team effort. Right here, right here. So the prairie pothole region is, is the most productive duck breeding area that we have in North America. Anywhere from 50 to 70 percent of our ducks in, in North America are produced here. And it's a relatively small part of the total breeding area. It's like only 10 percent of the total breeding area. So in spite of the fact that it's a small part of the total breeding area, it's huge. So that's why at Delta, for long-term habitat, we're focusing on farm policy. We've also secured an awful lot of habitat, and that's why at Delta we strongly believe that we should be managing that habitat. So that's why we're doing this active management here, predator management and hen houses. Those are the things that can work and make the habitat that we've secured productive for duck hunters in the south throughout North America. Join us next week for more of the Grind Waterfowl TV. Check us out on the web at thegrindwaterfowl.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.